And it's August 7, 2022. We're sailing out of Southwest Harbor. Pretty much downwind. It's pretty light air as we head out. Hopefully the wind will pick up when we get out there. And the wind direction right now is such that uh, we need to uh, continue more or less downwind. And we're in a little bit of a dead spot right here as we sail through the outer part of the Hinkley Company's mooring field, which actually doesn't have too many Hinkleys in it. There's a Hinkley power boat, and that's a Bermuda 40 yawl, and then non-Hinkley, non-Hinkley J boat. I believe that's an island packet. <laughs> and there's a Hinkley 43, but mostly non-Hinkleys today. So uh, that's the way it's gotten. When we first came here, this mooring field was full all summer with a mixture of people who had a mooring for the summer here and visitors. And that has really changed. Many of the boats out here uh, haven't moved yet this summer. This one, for example, this Bermuda 40, doesn't have any sails on, which suggests that either they just put it in or they're getting ready to take it out. The people are finished with it already on August 7th. Okay, we'll continue out and hopefully get a little better wind when we get out here a little further. It's rather busy today. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six sailboats south out the western way where we're looking now. One back there. And one, two, three, four back that way. And one under power. A try under power. A couple. And ahead we got one, two, three, four. And we got quite a few, probably about 15, 20 sailboats out today, which is quite a bit for Wednesday afternoon. But it's a nice day, as you can see. It's beautiful and clear. Although there may be a bit of a fog bank to the so way south, there is a storm out there that didn't quite get us. And the clouds that were, were over us this morning, but they pulled away. Anyway, we're probably going to be lazy and just sail east over toward Little Cranberry Island, which is the island ahead. And who knows where we'll go from there. Well, I didn't film much while we sailed out past the Cranberry Islands. This is Baker Island here. We're currently about almost seven miles uh, out of Southwest Harbor and headed more or less due south. And we'll see what's going. We came out here a few days ago and the wind, we were making good time in here and then the wind essentially stopped when we got past Baker. So we'll see what it does today. I know maybe it'll be a little better. If it is, I think we might tack and head around the Cranberry Islands because right out here is kind of the halfway point for going around. And we don't have a big time constraint today. We're just headed back to spend the night on our mooring. So, you know, if we get in there a half hour late, it won't make a big difference. We slowed down. We were up to 6.8 knots. There's a bit of a swell running here. I don't know if you can see it. It's was forecast to be uh, two to three feet, but it's a very long period, so you don't really notice it that much. And the main reason I'm thinking we might go around is that we're just a bit past high tide, and that means that when we get out here, the ebb tide in the Gulf of Maine is gonna take us west. 
which is the way we want to go. We're running six and a half knots right now, which is pretty good. If this wind continued and we were able to maintain this speed, we'd be back in Southwest Harbor just over an hour. But we'll see. Yeah, that was a big swell. We're in a spot uh, right here on the east side of Baker Island where the swells tend to pile up a little bit. Uh, relative to further out, this is a bit of a shoal, even though we're in 90 feet of water. And there's a sailboat heading under jib only the other way. And to give you a feel for where we are, this is looking astern toward Mount Desert Island. And right now, our course is slightly southeast. So if we continue this way, we'll, uh, in a little while, end up probably uh, in the Azores or Spain. So we probably won't stay out quite that long. The plan is, when we get out here a little further, to turn back west. Assuming the wind will let us go that way. And I expect that the swell will diminish a little bit out here and the wind should may drop off too. We'll see when we get out here just a little further. And there's a nice view of the east side of Baker Island. Okay, over there to the east is the Scudic Peninsula. And it looks like there is uh, either a cruise ship or the Cat Ferry leaving Bar Harbor. So, and another view back toward Mount Desert Island. It's very nice out here. We're nearly the only boat out here. Well, this is looking more or less south. You can see some of the swell coming in. As the boat responds to it. It's good sailing, although the wind has dropped off some like I expected. Now that we are south of Baker Island. I'll show you in a second. Let me stand up. Okay, those are the Duck Islands and the island of where Frenchboro, the village is, and then Baker Island. And we just need to get out another half mile or so so that we can definitely point past Baker. And you can see sort of three headlands there. Baker Island, Great Cranberry, and then uh, the southern tip of Mount Desert Island. Well, we're going to tack in just a couple minutes, and we're definitely in uh, open ocean sailing out here. Nice swell running, a bit of wind waves. So occasionally we're getting a four-footer, mostly one to two. Not bad though. Boat seems to be handling it well, and uh, we're maintaining just under six knots and we're beating right now and there's baker behind us and we should pretty soon be able to line up on the southern tip of great cranberry and sail right into the western way that's about five miles from here five miles west and you can see the swell coming in there was a storm that went by offshore uh, this last night and this morning and uh, that's where these waves the swell is coming from anyway we're gonna tack around here in just a minute and things should calm down a little now well, we've tacked around there's Baker Island and Mount Desert Island and we are headed west toward the entrance to the Western Way, which is uh, uh, about five miles. 
So at the rate we're going, 4.8 knots, a little over an hour. But as we get going here, we're going to get a tidal boost. As the tide has started to go out, so this is going to be uh, tide pushing us along. So we might pick up speed a little bit just from the tide. And there's the Scudic Peninsula in the distance and some of the hills on the mainland. So we'll keep going. It's a little lumpy out here. But we'll see. Okay, as we're heading west, we're just about past Baker Island. That's it there. And you can see Little Cranberry Island past Baker and the Life Saving Station on the southern tip of the island, that white building over there. And we have gotten out of the sort of vortex of two tidal currents hitting, so it has calmed down quite a bit. And also, in terms of the swell, we're kind of getting into the lee of Swans Island over there and some of the offshore islands. So, we're making good time, still making about five knots. And from where we turned, we had about five miles before we could turn into the Western Way and head back to Southwest Harbor. And there's a nice view of Mount Desert Island out here. Now it's a few minutes later and we're definitely past Baker Island. We've still got about a three to four foot uh, swell out here and sort of one to two foot wind waves. So every now and then we get a somewhat uh, bigger block of water to sail over. Okay, looking due north, we see Little Cranberry Island, and we're just about to Great Cranberry. And there's Baker Island astern. And of course, Mount Desert Island over the top of Little Cranberry. Now looking north, you can see Great Cranberry Island, our lee shore right now. Little Cranberry Island, and astern, Baker Island. So we're making good time, averaging a bit over five knots, and we're pinched up pretty high so, so that we will get past the little Great Cranberry. Because there is a shoal on the southwest tip of the island that we have to make sure we uh, stay south of. A little bit more of the south side of Great Cranberry, and right up ahead, is the last point we have to go around and then we're going to turn off the wind and go north and back into the Great Harbor. It's calmed down a little bit here. For a while there we were getting some pretty significant wind waves. Uh, on top of the swell they were probably on the order of two to three feet but now they're down to oh, a little over two. So not bad, comfortable sailing as we look at the last little bit of Great Cranberry Island with the hills of Mount Desert Island behind it. Okay, we lost sight of Little Cranberry Island and Baker Island is starting to go behind Great Cranberry as we near the southwest tip of Great Cranberry Island right over there gotten shallow we're only in 49 feet of water and the uh, wind is still up exactly. yeah we're doing five six we were up to just a little bit over six and in just a little bit we're gonna fall off and hopefully be on a beam reach up the western way right now we're maybe four miles from southwest harbor it just yeah, wind is variable. We're bouncing around six knots. Excellent time out here. It's a little choppy for a while, but it's not bad now. And there's the tip of Great Cranberry Island that we have to go around. And we can see up into the Great Harbor. One sailboat beating out, 
And you can see a little white water over there. That's the shoal extending from the southwest tip of Great Cranberry. We're just going to go a little bit further and then we're going to head into the Great Harbor. As we are, are sailing all the way around the Cranberry Islands today. And it has been a nice sail, a little choppy, and we had both sort of two to three foot wind waves and about a three to four foot swell, but most of the time it wasn't too bad. And in here, it we're definitely flattening out. And as we head up the western way, it might get a little choppy in there with wind against tide, but then it will definitely flatten out. Well, there's Great Cranberry Island. Uh, we're looking east now so we're just about into the western way this red bell that you can hear is the entrance bell and there's a green can just ahead that is the other mark when we pass that green can we're officially in the western way boat speed has dropped down to three knots <laughs> wind has dropped off a lot in here now we are coming in on an outgoing tide, which is going to be against us. So unless the wind picks up, it's going to be slow going for a while in here. But we got about, oh, three quarters of a mile to go before we go across the bar in the western way. And when we cross that, the tide will drop off a lot. There's a different view of Mount Desert Island over there behind Great Cranberry. There's a good view of Great Cranberry to the west. We just passed the can, which is sort of the entrance mark for the western way as we're into the Great Harbor. You can see we got wind against tide right now, so short period, sort of two and a half footers in here. But we're going with them, and we're on a beam reach, so uh, we're not feeling them like we would if we were beating into them. And compared to what it was like beating into wind and waves and swell out on the open Gulf of Maine, uh, this is calm. <laughs> the boat is just cruising along at, oh, about three knots because we're probably into a knot and a half to two knot foul tide right here. When there's a strong southerly wind on an outgoing tide, this area can get lumpy. But the lumpy part is only, oh, maybe half a mile, three quarters of a mile long, then it flattens right out. Because there's a bar across the western way from Great Cranberry Island over to the Manset shore of Mount Desert Island uh, that breaks up the waves. And you'll see that just a little bit when we go across it. Uh, pr probably be about 18 to 20 feet of depth when we cross that bar. Well, out there is where we came from. There's Great Cranberry Island, its western shore. And right over there, that little rocky bit is the northwest corner of Great Cranberry. So we're just about around the cranberries. Up ahead is Greening Island and around the point to the left is Southwest Harbor. So we don't have far to go. And you'll notice it's flattened out a lot. The reason is there's a bar from Great Cranberry over to Mount Desert Islands, Manset Shore, and we just crossed over it. And that bar almost in, always knocks the waves down and it flattens right out. And also the uh, tidal current drops off, although the wind has too, and we're down to 2.4 knots after hitting 6.8 at one point during our trip. And we'll be back in Southwest Harbor in 30 minutes at the most. 
Now there's the view east between Sutton Island on the left and the cranberries on the right. That's where we went out. And that's south. Great cranberry on the left. Mount Desert Island on the right and the Duck Islands in the distance. And that's where we came back in. And we're almost back. Greening Island ahead. And you can start to see some of the boats in the outer part of the Southwest Harbor mooring field ahead. And the wind is getting a little fluky as we head in here. But we don't have far to go. Oh, there it is, Southwest Harbor, Maine. We're just outside the mooring field and we're going to start the engine in about a minute furl up the Genoa and go pick up our mooring for the evening. So we've nearly completed today's sail and it was a nice one. I enjoyed getting out into a little chop out there in the Gulf of Maine. Sailing around the cranberries is always uh, quite a pleasant experience. Uh, the views from out there are fantastic, as I think you saw. And uh, the other thing is you do get about eight or nine miles of open ocean sailing in. Now, I've been out there at times when it was glass calm and maybe five knots of wind and we basically are drifting along. And then there are days like today where we had a swell that was running three to maybe four feet at its peak and wind waves that started out pretty benign that built to uh, you know two feet with the occasional three footer which meant that every now and then when we were beating into those waves we would hit a two to three foot wind wave on top of a four foot swell a seven footer and the boat handled it beautifully it's always uh, reassuring to me how well this 50 plus year old sailboat handles conditions like that and although that wasn't particularly rough you know the boat handled it with without any problem at all and it was comfortable back here in the cockpit and uh, you know at no time was I at all concerned about the boat so anyway it's fun to go out there and sail occasionally and uh, experience a little bit rougher conditions than we usually get in here in the Great Harbor of Mount Desert Island where we do the bulk of our sailing. Well, we're back in Southwest Harbor right now. We're tied up at our mooring. We're going to have the dinner and spend the night. And uh, it's nice out here, nice and quiet. And we'll go back in early in the morning when there's essentially no wind. And uh, it was a nice sail. We went just under 16 miles in uh, about 4 hours and 40 minutes from the time we pushed off the dock until we were tied up on our mooring. So it was a, a good trip and uh, a nice sail today. First time we've been out in any chop to speak of all year. And it was kind of pleasant to be out in that. Uh, quite enjoyed it. Anyway, that's sailing around the Cranberry Islands here at Mount Desert Island, Maine on August 7, 2024. Thanks for watching.